Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute box pouch. Now I've made a box pouch in the past on this channel, but this one has absolutely no raw edges. I had quite a few complaints about that on the last video. So everything you need and the measurements will be over at the blog post, which is linked in the information icon in the top corner of this video and in the links below. Once in a while, I get someone asking me where my pattern is. They can't find it. Well, it is linked below and in the information icon, but also if you can't find something in the blog, there is a search bar where you can type in a keyword to find the tutorial you're looking for. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is, these are my three front pieces. I'm going to use cotton fabric and I'm backing all of them with a lightweight or medium weight interfacing. I have my large lining piece and then I have a long piece that will be used for my tabs that I'll end up cutting up, but I like to make it in one long piece. And then I also have my nine inch zipper. So the first thing I'm going to do is iron on all my interfacing to all of my pieces. So easy enough, if you've never worked with interfacing before, it's a product that has glue on the back of it. So you just place that on the wrong side of your fabric and then just iron it with a hot dry iron and it will make your flimsy fabric nice and stiff. So I'm doing that for all the layers. If you want to opt out, you could use a just a thicker fabric such as canvas to have a more structured bag. So now I'm going to take my tab piece and I folded the sides in a quarter of an inch and then I folded it in half again and I will sew along both sides of this. And this will make a cute little strap and this will help when you go to open the bag. If you don't have these tabs, it's kind of tricky to open a box pouch without them. So you, you need them and if you don't want to use or you don't want to create the strap like I did, you can always just use a little shortcut and grab some cute ribbon or, you know, whatever, bias tape. Okay, so now we're going to work on the outer piece of the bag. So if you want to do all one fabric, you can. That measurement will be in the blog post, but I'm going to make it a little bit cuter and have three different fabrics. The pink will be the base of the bag, and then I'll have the... Um, the unicorns on the side and I really like this especially with you know directional fabric in this case where one side the unicorns would end up upside down if I had it all in one piece so I'm just going to put those right sides together and sew along with a quarter of an inch seam allowance then I took it out I pressed it and then I'm just gonna do a top stitch and I like to do that on the unicorn fabric, but you can do that on the base fabric. It doesn't matter. It just makes it look a little bit more polished. So now I am finished with my outer fabric and we can start to install the zipper. I'm using a nylon zipper and you can use a metal one if it fits perfectly, but I like the nylon just because you can easily sew over top of them and snip them to the size that you like. So first I'm going to take my zipper, place it on the edge of my fabric with the zipper pulled down, and then I'm going to place the lining on top so the lining and the outer fabric are right sides together and the edges are lined up with the zipper. I'll pin that into place and then I will switch my regular foot to a zipper foot and sew nice and closely to the zipper teeth and then after we will take it out and flip it right sides out and we will do another top stitch on top right along the teeth. And again, that will make it look a lot more polished and it keeps the fabrics nice and flat. Next, I'm going to install the other side of the zipper. So I'm gonna flip the outer fabric up to the one, the other edge of my zipper. And then I'm going to flip up the other side, the lining, and I'm going to line those edges up. So the lining is on the one side of the zipper and the outer fabric is on the other side of the zipper. And I'm going to sew this one a little different. I'm going to take my pins and I'm going to create a four inch gap in the middle of the zipper and we're not going to sew there. So we're going to sew along 
up until the pin and then stop and then sew the rest of the way. This is going to be our opening for when we open the bag and this is what's going to help us not have any raw edges and you won't even know that it's there. So I'm just going to sew up to that, I'm going to back stitch and then take it out and then move my foot down to the next pin. When I saw this technique at first, I was like, that is the weirdest place to put a hole, but it really is brilliant at the end of the day. So now I'm going to flip the whole thing right sides out. And now it's a little bit tricky. We're going to do that top stitch again, but now it's just, it's when you put it in the machine, it will be a little bit weird, but remember, we're not going to close up that hole. So we're just going to do the top stitch up until that hole. We're going to put in pins as a guide just so that we know where the hole is. And if you want to press it into place just so that you, you know, it, it stays nice and flat, but we're going to again do a top stitch. And I always like to do a little bit of a longer stitch length. So if you're normally working with a two or a two and a half, I like to work with a three for my top stitches. So I'm going to go up a little bit, stop, and then again, do the rest of the way. And it's important because you cannot do that top stitch when the bag is assembled. You can do, you can top stitch that hole up, but you won't be able to do anything else. Okay. So now we are going to again, flip it inside out. I didn't need to unzip the zipper at this point. So I, I end up doing it back up again but we're gonna have the lining on the one side of the zipper again, and then have the outer fabric on the other side. And we're gonna find the center of both sides. So just pull the fabrics and then, so that your zipper is flat. And then you're just gonna mark it with a pen or you can snip a little triangle into it. And then I'm just going to prepare my little tabs. So like I said, if you want to use some ribbon, you can do that, but I'm going to take my tab and if you have a nice long piece, you can even do what I did and I kind of fussy cut it so that there was one of the little unicorn heads on one side. So I thought that was a cute little touch. So now we're going to take those markings that we made and we are going to center those with the zipper. So that is why we're doing it. So make sure you put that zipper inside because if not, you will end up cutting it off. And then I'm going to place my little tabby in, fold it in half, make sure the folded edge is inside the bag and the raw edges are lined up. And if you did fussy cut, then make sure that the cute little picture on your tab is um, touching the zipper. So that when you do finish the bag, then you'll be able to see the top of the tabs. And yeah, so we just, did that to both sides and we're going to sew up both sides. So this is why I like to use the nylon zipper because I'm just going to go right over top of it. So easy. And then I will just snip off those excess, this, the excess zipper and the raw edges of the tab and stuff. Okay. So now we're going to cut a notch out of each corner. So you can choose whichever size you want. I did a, one and a quarter inch, which gave me a nice tall bag, probably about three inches tall or so. But if you want it to be a little bit shorter, you can make this square or this little notch smaller. So it's just it's totally up to you. And then after we will snip out the notches and make sure you're measuring from the seam. So you're, you're measuring from the edge on the one side and then the seam of the other one, just so you can have a perfectly symmetrical square. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I cut out all four notches and this is where it's going to get really tricky and kind of seem unnatural. So there's my little hole, but we're going to sew up those little notches. But the first we're going to do, we're going to take the outer fabric and we're going to pull it flat so that that seam is centered with the other side of that fabric, if you can tell what I'm doing. And we're going to take the lining and again, we're going to open up that notch the same way. It's going to feel weird and the fabric isn't going to want to do what you want it to do, but you're basically going to tell it what to do. So if you have to move it around and flip it around and 
And um, it does get harder if you have a smaller box pouch as opposed to a larger one. Um, this is a little bit of a smaller box pouch, so it looks more awkward when I'm doing it, but we're going to keep those lined up together and those corners need to be perfect and we're going to pin that into place and we will do a quarter of an inch seam allowance right up that raw edge so i hope this makes sense i'm going to do it one more time for you after i sew this one um it's hard you can't really do these all at the same time you need to um prepare one corner sew it and then um prepare the next corner and then sew it so you can't really do it all at one time but this does give you an amazing product and at first it's tricky but once you get the hang of it then it's super easy and no problem at all so now I'm just gonna show you how I did the next one so see how it's kind of like I need to flip the fabric over to get to the next to the next corner so it is, it is hard to explain, <laughs> but hopefully just by looking at what I'm doing, you, you can understand. So like I, I prepared the one side and then I flipped it over and then I just mirrored that. And then I sew this one again with another quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then I will do that for the other two corners, but I did that off camera. And then this is how it's gonna look when it's all done, which doesn't look like much and looks very awkward. But we're gonna find that hole that we left in our zipper and we will flip it right sides out. You might need to undo your zipper a little more. Um, if you wanted to open up your zipper more when you did, when you first flattened it, you can do that and it would make things easier, but it wasn't too hard to just open the zipper. So you're just going to, you know, poke at your corners and, you know, structure the bag the way that it looks. And this is how it is. And of course, as you see, that hole is still there and we can easily just put that under your sewing machine and sew up that hole and make sure that you line up the front of the zipper with the back of the zipper or the fabric. I just like to pin that into place so that it's all connected. Do a quick top stitch and then you're done. So easy, so cute and no raw edges. So you will totally impress your friends. They will think that you purchased it somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or join the Facebook group or follow me on Instagram, which is also all linked below. If you make any of my products, I would love to see it. So definitely share at the Facebook group so that everyone can see it. And yeah, so I really love this box pouch. See how adorable it is. No raw edges. I love that. I'm actually going to be making another project with these box pouches. So there will be sort of a part two to this video. So stay tuned for that. And also a giveaway coming up for my 25,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.